or not, we better keep moving before we freeze. for not if we join them we have to save his highness don't let them lay a finger on his highness or the civilians the people really do love him if I'm not mistaken your job here is still to help Mila win that's right let's go Leia gotcha Thank you. 
Near the bridge. Is that it up there? Repel the hostiles! We'll have to fight our way through. No break. Over already? and his crew can reinforce us. Then we can break through these troops. All right, then the question is who shall go? <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and fight. Mila, you should go. Are you sure, Jude? <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your plan with these perfect ears of mine. Isn't that... <laughs> oh, wow. That idiot survived. Hit the showers, fraud. The curtain just closed on you. I'm the new star of the show now. Thanks, Ivor. I'll rest. I could use a breather. No 
no, 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 no! This is all wrong! Now you're supposed to explode into a jealous rage! Uh... Okay, in that case... I'll take care of it. Ha! Ah, you think I'm just gonna let you play the hero? Gangway! You've gotten pretty good at handling him. Nah, that just kind of popped into my head. Well, he totally ignored Mila this time. Maybe he's obsessed with you now, Jude. But if he pulls his own way, I have no complaint. Anyway, let's go. All right. Finally, I have seized control of the ship. Drop your weapons and surrender. Ivor, set us down on the ground. What do you think I'm trying to do? Fly loop-de-loops? Uh, this button maybe? Uh, no? Hmm. This must be it. Idiot. What do you do this time? Hopeless as usual. Quite a predicament. Can you tell us anything about these things? Now's hardly the time to chat. You're under attack. Prepare yourself for Rowan Hilbert. <laughs> Always one step ahead. <laughs> Always one step ahead. Air guard. <laughs> Rowan. Air guard. We need a crush. <laughs> Glad that's over. We'll take over from here. Gaius probably didn't need us after all. Are you unharmed? Yes, thanks to everyone but you. What? The ship is ours! <laughs> Let's return to the castle. Here, let me help you up. until we can set sail. I have every available man working to get the ship's systems under control. It may take a few hours. Looks like we still have some time. Let's rest until then. Didn't Carla say she was from Canbalar? Maybe she went back home.
Are the others around? It's just us. You still trying to figure out why Zhao saved you? Yes. Mila and Rowan weren't any help. They were like dead guys tell no tales. That's not true! They didn't say it like that! Tipo's got a point, though. When someone passes away, his secrets die with him. But I remember something my parents told me once. They said that people who die are reborn as spirits. If that's the case, maybe the dead are always with us. Even now. We just can't see them. And that means we have to protect them. I see. You're right. I wonder what those two are talking about. You wish to speak with me? You told me earlier you have a booster implanted in your body. Why would you do such a thing? Why? <laughs> if you have to ask, then you'd never understand. But you're still just a young man. How could you throw away your life? <laughs> the answer is simple. I await my opportunity to kill the king. What? That is your reason? Gaius is worthy of the throne. That is undeniable. So I was left with only two options. Resist or submit. You are a strong young man. No, you're just a weak old one. I have given a lot of thought to what you said earlier. It would seem that Gaius is capable of leading his people down the correct path. Are you saying you'll support him? Gaius may be Rashagal's only hope now that it has lost its king. I shall summon Rashagal's finest warriors here before the battle with Exodus. With your permission, of course. A wise decision. Why are you standing out in the cold? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Maybe you should sit down and rest for a bit. Yes. Maybe this is simply fatigue. I'll take up your offer. Hmm? Feeling any better? Not really, but don't worry about it. Maybe if we just chat for a while, this will pass. Okay, sure. So, uh, what's the outside world like? Olympias. What do you wish to know? Well, stuff like the climate, how the people are, things like that. I don't really know. Huh. Is that strange? No, I just figured you'd know something. But it sounds like it's been some time since you've seen it. Well, I don't think it's a matter of memory. I simply just don't know. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about it. I was just curious, that's all. All I know is that Spyrex use is rampant on Olympias. Why would the people there rely on Spyrex instead of just using their manalopes? Using Spyrex is easier. No doubt the temptation was just too strong for them. I have a question for you, too, actually. What is it? 
Do you... Uh... Uh... How do I put this? You sure everything is okay? You're acting weird today. The ship is ready for departure. Please return to the castle. I guess we should head back. Muse, don't scare Jude like that. <laughs> Mila, may I speak with you in private for a moment? You two can catch up. I'll just wait back at the castle. With you? She's spending some time with Muse. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hmm? That was quick. You could say that. The gang's all here. Let's go see Gaius. Hold on, everyone. Gaius and the others are taking this fight very seriously. We must make sure we are fully prepared. Yeah, good point. I wonder what people eat in Kambalar. They've got to have some sort of local delicacy. Do you think so? It's awfully cold here. All the more reason to eat well. So you think they have something good? Let's go find out, Tipo. Hey, wait up! <laughs> it puts an old man's heart at ease to see them enjoying themselves at a time like this. Ah, oh, this must be the sensation humans know as hunger. Oh, crap! Why did I just remember this now? What's wrong? Uh-oh. I've seen that look on your face before. It's Master Sonia, isn't it? Before I left, Mom asked me to run an errand for her, but I totally spaced. But that was quite some time ago. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about now. Snap out of it, Leia! We need to come up with a plan! Remember the Gaius dumplings they have here? Let's send her some! That's it! We'll distract her with sugar! We'll make it out of this alive yet! Hey! Jude! Leia! Do they understand the situation we're in now? It appeared to be a family matter. It's not our place to interfere. Oh. You've become quite familiar with humans, haven't you? I've seen a lot on my journey. Well, I'm proud of the fact that the great Maxwell is a member of my family. That's right. You and I are family, aren't we? I once thought about what it would be like to have a family. And? It was something I've never felt before. Very different from my duties as Maxwell. Of the feelings I've experienced, the one that comes closest is security. <laughs> Why do you laugh? What am I to you then? That's a difficult question. I understand the idea of having a family, but I don't think it's the same as what you're feeling. That's not what I asked. Besides, didn't you just say that you were proud to have me as family? Oh. Is that what I said? Unbelievable. I'm beginning to doubt that you truly came here in response to my summons. All I can say is that there is nothing more important to me than fulfilling Maxwell's orders. Hey, sorry about that! We kind of got carried away. Don't worry about it. Hmm? They seem surprised by that. The most important thing to a spirit is the purpose of its existence, its duty. I believe the same is true for humans. But sometimes for humans, there are things that win out over duty. Over duty? Then again, perhaps it's just another kind of duty. The duty to survive. 
I see. I didn't really understand any of that. But I'm pleased that you were able to convince yourself. Listen, Mila. About Ivor. Why are you whispering? Because Ivor can hear a pin drop half a mile away. That's true. When he flew in on that wyvern, he was able to hear everything we said. So what is it? I wouldn't worry you two. It's the wyverns that have great hearing, not Ivor. They navigate by channeling wind spirits to bring them every noise within miles. They probably just told Ivor what they heard. Do you really think so? If your handmaid really had such good ears, don't you think you'd be a little less deaf to subtext? Oh! oh. So what about Ivor? Huh? Oh, I was just going to ask why he's so deaf to subtext when he has such great ears. Ah, a popular topic, apparently. Giant lumps of metal soaring through the sky. Kind of terrifying, isn't it? You think so? I find the idea fascinating. I'm quite excited myself, riding in a flying ship. It's beyond my wildest dreams. Ugh. Why are boys so into stuff like this? I fail to see the appeal myself. Hey, Muse, do these things ever fall out of the sky? I don't know, but... But what? But I don't really care. If it did, I'd just fly away. Well, that settles that. I'll be holding on to you. 